what he has to say. So I'm going to read his words. Jabbar says the slap was also a slap to women. By hitting Rock, he announced that his wife was incapable of defending herself against words. This patronizing paternal attitude infantilizes women and reduces them to helpless damsels needing a big strong man to defend their honor lest they swoon from the vapors. What is the legacy of Smith's violence? He's brought back the toxic bro ideal of might makes right and talk is for losers. The black community also takes a direct hit from Smith. One of the main talking points from those supporting the systematic or the systemic racism in America is characterizing blacks as more prone to violence and less able to control their emotions. Smith just gave comfort to the enemy by providing them with the perfect optics they were dreaming of. Young boys, especially black boys, watching their movie idol not just hit another man over a joke, but then justify it as him being a superhero like protector. Well, they're much more now prone to follow in his childish footsteps. Perhaps the saddest confirmation of this is the tweet from Smith's child, Jaden. And that's how we do it. Abdul Jabbar wasn't the only Titan speaking out today. After the break, another powerhouse comedian goes after Smith, Jim Carrey skewering the tone-deaf Hollywood types in the audience who thought that Smith's behavior was acceptable enough to lionize him with a standing ovation and then kiss and hug and snuggle up to him like somehow Smith was the victim. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.